Captain Saito. And you are? I'm with the 8th Division, Captain Toto's troop. Right, so what did you want? Did the captain share any details with you about another recent deserter? Another one? No, he didn't. I knew it. Come on, Captain. Well, during the mess that was Captain Yamanami's desertion, another trooper in the 3rd Division also made his escape. Ah, 3rd Division. So he would have been one of mine. Yes, sir. His name is Akimoto. And we're not sure where he's gone. The investigation team is still trying to track him down. But as soon as this location is known, you've been ordered to capture him. As 3rd Division Captain. Oh. So I'm starting off by cleaning up the last guy's mess. Unfortunately, yes, sir. And Captain Toto is supposed to be the one to inform you. But you see how that went. That's alright. I've got my orders. Find the deserter, Akimoto. And I'll return to my own duties. Best of luck. What's up, guys? I'm Vocal Strike, and welcome back to an episode of Let's Play Like a Dragon Ishin. Last time, we, uh, we got the tour of this place that I mostly edited out because it was a bunch of walking and got introduced to a what I assume is a new mini game. And this time we will I'm going to check to see if we can actually do those sub stories now. Which I believe there was supposed to be one somewhere over here. Hey, more Ginkgo. Uh, and if not, I guess we'll progress further. Doesn't look like we can access this one. I still haven't spent these prize tickets. So I guess we'll move on to one of the other locations. And see what that's about. If not, then we'll do some bonds and... Oh, and I just realized I can't fast travel. If not, then we'll do some bonds and progress in the main story a bit further. But I just realized I cannot fast travel. And there's probably a reason for that. Yeah, I still cannot fast travel. It really wants me to go here. And again, there's probably reason for it. Oh! Obtained excerpt from a history textbook. That's in our memoir, and we do have some training orbs to spend. This is... This down here. Yeah, I'm taking that. Increase the speed of rush combo attacks and swordsman style, giving your enemies fewer chances to strike back. Yes, please. Now then, let's see what these memoirs are. 38%. Excerpt from a history textbook. The sixth year of Kai 1853. After more than 200 years of heavily restricted foreign trade, American ships arrived in Japan led by Commodore Matthew K Calbraith Perry, who demanded the Edo Bakufu open the country to foreign entities. America's objective was to create a trading hub, 
as access to Japan's ports would allow them to replenish their wa their whaling ships and establish more trade routes with various Asian countries. Upon, the nego upon negotiation, the Edo Bakufu quickly noticed the advanced technology and military of a foreign power and realized that Japan was no match. Though they denied the right to trade, the Bakufu signed the Japan-U.S. Treaty of Peace and Amity in hopes of inter interacting with other countries, thereby learning their technology and overall strengthening Japan. However, merely two years after the initial treaty was signed, American merchant Townsend Harris requested the Bakufu sign the Treaty of Amity and Commerce between the United States and the Empire of Japan, a means of opening up trade between the two countries. Hoping to avoid war and in the shadow of Harris's imposing demeanor, the Bakufu were forced to sign the agreement and open up trade with America. Once the floodgates of trade were open, Japan's goods were exported to the point of deficiency, causing prices to surge. This led, to, this led the nation's economy to shambles and its people to abject poverty. With their livelihoods imperiled, many of the warrior class fomented ever stronger anti-foreigner sentiment, until they ultimately developed into so, sono joey extremists. Because the Bakufu opened the country without permission from the emperor, who was to be respected as the ultimate authority, as the Sano part of their credo demands, the Sano Joey began ra retaliating against Bakufu supporters with increasingly extreme tactics. Ironically, the Bakufu suppression of the Sono Joey only heightened their resentment of the ruling power to the point they began demanding its removal outright. The faction continues to hold this stance, striving to bring down the Bakufu and restore the emperor to his traditional position. Ah, politics. Gotta love politics, right? I'm just gonna assume that the sub stories are not. Uh, are not there. And probably just make my way to Teradaya. Oh, so I even get to use my troops outside of those missions. Huh. I thought they were just minigame exclusive. They are not. Oh, here's the reason why I can't fast travel. Saito Hajime-san. Over here. Who are you? Oh, pardon me. I forgot this is the first time we've spoken in person. I'm Yamazaki, Shinsengumi Inspector. Pleased to make your acquaintance, 3rd Division Captain. Shinsengumi Inspector Yamazaki Susumi, or Susumu. Inspector. I specialize in gathering information and other reconnaissance work. Perhaps you can't tell, but I'm also rather skilled in disguises. I've been waiting some time for you. I knew you couldn't reach Teradaya without traversing this street. Impressive. Sounds like you really do you know your spy work. Indeed I do. Something you may wish to keep in mind. I n you never know who might be watching. So why are you here? Didn't Todo-san tell you already? About the deserter from the 3rd Division. From my division? Right. I believe his name was Akamoto. Correct. I managed to pinpoint his location. 
And I believe his capture was entrusted to you, Saito-san. Yes, so I've heard. Are you going to tell me where he is? In a place called Hinata over in Gion, likely drinking himself to a stupor with his favorite woman. What a buffoon he is. Perhaps he wanted to make some memories before fleeing Kyo for good. I see. I'll make my way there immediately. It's your first mission, so be careful. Now if you'll excuse me. So Akimoto did flee, but made a stop at Hinata. That's in Gion. I need to get over there fast. Head to Hinata. Uh... Ah, here we go. Ah, you there. Sorry to be so forward, but you seem rather fishy. Are you kidding me? Look at what you're doing. Why are you snooping around like that? Oh, don't worry about me. It's my duty to patrol this fair city and help anyone in need. It's your duty. You're on the job right now? I'd like to believe so. And I'm knee deep in the middle of a mission. So if you don't mind, I need to avoid any potential distractions from... Please, leave me alone. Oh? I'm sorry, but I absolutely have to go. Aw, oh, come on. How about one little cup of tea with us first? Yeah, <laughs> and if that leads to more than just tea, well, that sounds pretty nice, doesn't it, little lady? But I really am in a hurry. Now leave me alone, please. Aw, what's the rush? You're real cute when you're pouting like that. <laughs> Those guys seem like real trouble. Hmm? Where'd that fishy guy go? You stop right there. Huh? You two. Were you attempting to bro browbait this fair lady into a compromising situation? Can't you see she already has her own trouble she's dealing with? She doesn't need any more trouble from you. For shame, sis. What is he doing? Yeah, a samurai. Uh, don't get to thinking you can boss us around just because you've got a sword. Yeah, we could totally take you two on one. So mind your own damn business if you know what's good for you. <laughs> You're about to learn that this is my this is my business, and business is booming. I'm here to protect the downtrodden people of this city. Huh? Miss, please stand back. Things are about to get messy. Oh, right. Now, come at me, fiends. Huh? Oh, this is so cringy. Oh, that's it. I'm really gonna give it to you. Yeah, we're not gonna go easy on you. You, you'll be sorry. <laughs> oh, whoops. Wait. What's that guy about to... Oh. What the hell? Oh. Ouchie. Is this guy, like... Uh... I... I was... I was being nice. <laughs> And then you guys, you guys hurt me. Wah. Okay, uh, I think we should go. Yeah, let's just get out of here. That was pathetic. Um, sir? Sir? Oh, it's you. Are you alright, miss? Yes, I am. But I'm in a real hurry. Oh, right, yes. Then off you go. Hey, you are right down there? Ah, you again. Pay my current st state no mind. It's the crooks and ne'er-do-wells of the city who need to be worried about me. I'm not so sure about that. But you really are unique, I've gotta say. Huh? You stepped in and saved that poor girl without hurting a single person. Perhaps that's true, but a single person definitely did get hurt. Ugh. Recalling the answers, making my wounds smart all over again. 
Would you happen to have anything on hand that might help? Here, take some ointment. Would this do any good? Oh, excellent. Yes, indeed. Ah, right as rain. Thank you for your assistance, sir. It appears you are a kindred spirit. Another fellow always willing to lend a helping hand to the troubled. Well, you really seem to need it. Anyway, what are you doing out here? What do you mean? Well, you look like a samurai, but... Were you hired as some kind of protection around here? Huh, I'm indeed a protector of this city, but my patrols are purely out of passion for the work. Wait, you just do this because you want to? Yes, actually more than that. I feel absolutely compelled to step in and help anyone with nowhere else to turn. I patrol the city of Kyo, looking for citizens who may be in need. I see. You're a surprisingly, you're a surprisingly nice guy. What? What do you mean, surprisingly? Oh, is that the voice of troubled I hear? The troubled I hear. Duty calls, friend. Thank you for your help again. Until next time. Okay, this is a bond, so I'm probably gonna keep giving him healing items to help heal his wounds and get back on his feet. You formed a bond with the Batter Defender. Okay, so now we can actually access the... at least that sub-story. Can I fast travel now? I can! But first... Are you kidding me? I'm trying to get the Bacchus, damn it! I don't even need my troops, like, at all. We do have some memoirs to turn into Bak to Seto. Oh, Saito-san! You brought me a memoir. Some time. Jinwei, hand over memoir and discuss. Diary of a housewife. Ah, uh, look at this. It's from a homemaker. Commenting on how international trade has made cost of living go up. It's especially hard for common people when food prices increase, isn't it? On the subject, I've noticed in my time here that Japanese people don't seem to eat much meat. That's puzzling. It's delicious, after all. Some say that's Buddhism's influence, since it prohibits killing living things. Actually, I've heard people smell meat using... euphemisms. You can order pork, for instance, as peony, or venison as autumn leaves. Oh, fascinating. I guess people find ways to bend the rules, even if they can't simply run a butcher shop. Still, imagine... There could be restaurants throughout the city with secret menus, only for those in the know. Excerpt from a history textbook. Hmm. A historical look on the Jewish ideology. I suppose after centuries of isolation, opening up the country was never going to be easy. And after being backed into such an unfair treaty, I can understand why some would resent foreign powers. But their xenophobia is beyond the pale. I empathize with wanting to protect Japan, but they made the country a viper nest. I doubt that change will ever come with things as so disjointed. Do you? Don't you? This land needs unity more than ever before. What sort of account have you brought me this time? Oh, he... Oh, okay, so Saito or uh, Ryoma has no... Uh, uh, has nothing to say on that one. Abandoned Journal of the Shinsengumi Trooper. This is a Shinsengumi Trooper's journal, eh? An interesting find. You Shinsengumi are quite severe, it would seem. Hmm. When I joined, I had to fight two captains back to back, using real swords. They don't even use wind katanas during recruitment. That's mad. Things only get stricter once you're in. No borrowing money, no facing criminal trial, and deserters must commit seppuku. Ugh. I've heard about this seppuku thing. Cutting your own belly open. It's the stuff of nightmares. 
You may be serious about your cause, but you're damned scary. Here's what I have right now. Okay, those are turned in. And we still need to get the DLC. Since I've already started the episode, I won't change skin. Here we go. Grow support kit. Uh, wait, actually. Oh, here it is. Remunerative materials kit. An apology to any errors with your pre order bonus. Oh. An offering materials to apologize for any errors encountered in redeeming your digital pre order bonus. The maximum amount of materials you can hold is 999, so please confirm that you have available space for the items in this kit before accepting it. Sphere Seal Kawami and Sphere Seal Greed. Hey, take good care of it, yeah? Is that really it? I guess that was it. Because I want to see these troops. Looks like I can fit a fourth one in here. Oh, yeah, I already got him. Bampy bite. Bampy bit me. Level 99 already. Essence of Embrace. Seduces opponents by piercing their hearts with their with her sword. Enhances the attack damage increase from offensive troopers by a small amount. Alex Mukala. Essence of Crescendo. Blasts away nearby enemies with a symphonic shockwave. Increase attack damage by a small amount. Co Carnage. Release the powerful orb of energy, hurling foes backward. Amplifies charge speed of all troops by a small amount. Nayatasha Nyaners. Oh, is it Nyatasha? Nyaners. That's definitely a VTuber. Charms the vitality of enemies to recover health. Continuously restores a small amount of health. Kenny Omega. Cuts down foes with a slash of his angel wing. Angel's wing. Increased defense by a small amount. Rahul Kohli. Incinerates enemies with fiery waves of righteous anger. Increased attack damage by a small amount. Namazo. Charm your enemies with the help of man's best friend. Honor and duty. Increase the number of trooper slots and greatly amplifies the charge speed of the corporal. Charge up Ryoma's heat by an unreasonable amount. I actually kind of want that. Amplifies charge speed of all troopers by a tremendous amount. Cures Ryoma's status ailments and restores health by a tremendous amount. Enhances the health restored for medical troopers by a tremendous amount. A terrifying heat action performed by a tiger. Increased attack damage by a tremendous amount. A merciless heat action performed by a bear. Increases defense by a tremendous amount. Pluck a chicken egg. The results could be fair or foul. 
amplifies the charge speed of all troopers by a tremendous amount. Essence of Crimson Cuts Stab an enemy with multiple sword strikes at a close distance, making them bleed. Increase attack damage by an unreasonable amount, but greatly reduces defense. Oh, that's the protagonist from, uh, Like a Dragon. Temporarily increases Ryoma's attack damage by an unreasonable amount. Increase the number of trooper slots and greatly amplifies the charge speed of all troopers. Then we have the rest of these. I might just... I probably won't do it this episode, but what I'm probably going to do is replace uh, some of the troopers with all these rare ones. And so... If I recall correctly, there was one down here somewhere. Wait, no, was it... No, it was South Taramachi. Oh, he's blocking the goddamn street. Okay. Oh. Prize ticket. What's with this guy? Can't even cross the street with him lying there. Hey, wake up. You're in the way. Um, he's muttering something. Hungry. Seriously? Hmm. Do I have anything I can give him to get him on his feet? What should I hand over? Well, if you really want to get someone on his feet, a hot pepper ought to do it. Hey, are you hungry? Do you want this? Foo. Foo? The scent of food. Your food was eaten. Um, nom, 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 Whew. I feel alive again. Ooh, you're a big guy. You have a hell of an appetite. Are you starving or something? Yes. Yes, exactly. I was so weak with hunger, I had one foot in the, on the ferry to the afterlife. Huh. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better now. Is this going to be another bond? But you were in people's way over there. Next time, maybe you could lie down someplace less obstructive. I get what you're saying, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Ugh. Oh no, I'm getting hungry again. My head is starting to spin. From the look of it, you're a sumo wrestler. That's a rich business. It must provide you with enough food. What kind of a... Egalitarian fantasy world are you living in? High rank sumo may eat like kings, but low rank sumo like me live hand to mouth. I didn't know that. So what rank are you? Jo Junokuchi. That's the lowest one, isn't it? It wasn't supposed to be this way. Back home, I was undefeated, you know. They say a frog in a well knows nothing of the ocean. Maybe you weren't ready to compete in the big leagues. No, that's not it. I really am strong. I just haven't been able to show it yet. Why not? Because the game is rigged. What do you mean rigged? You start at a low rank, so you can't make money. Without money, you can't eat. Without eating, you're too weak to win. And without winning, your rank never improves and you can't make more money. You see? It's a vicious cycle. And after all my dreams of wrestling Kyo, how could I ever go home to, and face my parents? Ah, please, calm down. But there's just no hope for me. If, if I could only wrestle on a full stomach, I could win. So, you're too poor to properly feed yourself before a match. Is there anyone you can ask to provide you with food for now? You probably shouldn't have asked that, Ryoma. Who would ever be so generous? Huh? Wait a second. Here it comes. Hmm? Did you think of someone? I sure did. You. Daddy. Me? Just like before. You gave me some of your leftover food and saved my life. Those weren't leftovers. I was going to eat them. 
I don't have that much to spare. But I can repay you. Once my rank goes up, I'll have plenty of money after all. Please, just consider it. If I can wrestle full just one time, I'm sure I'll have the strength to win. When I do, I'll start earning enough to feed myself and pay you back. Mm. Fine. I guess I can help him out if I have any food that I don't need. Alright. If I can afford to, I'll try to get you some more to eat. Really? You're the first person to show me kindness since I've come to Kyo. Don't forget about this when you finally do start making money. I promise. On my honor as a wrestler. That reminds me. I've got a big match today. What? Today? Right now, actually. I better hurry over and fight before I digest all that good food you gave me. I'll meet you here later to tell you how it went. Bring more food with you if you can. Okay, that's another bond. So many bonds. And then the last one... We still have one over in Gion. I'm trying to... Oh yeah, there was actually one in Mibu. We just couldn't do it because of... Uh, probably because that cutscene needed to trigger. Ah, uh, here we go. Hmm? Hmm? Hand over all the money in the shop and we might spare your life. Someone, help! Huh? Oi! I said money or your life. I... I... <laughs> How cold. Fine. We'll take her too. <laughs> Bandits? I've got to stop them. That's actually really bold for it to be in front of the Shinsengumi hideout. Or headquarters. Halt! Mm -hmm. Hmm? Who the fuck are you? Lest you seek the cold embrace of death this day, I advise you to abscond from me. Huh? huh? What's this jackass Boy. saying? Kill him! Yeah! Ah. <sighs> So easily dispatched, like autumn leaves falling from the maple tree. <sighs> Let's get out of here. He actually said he would kill him, but he didn't. Once again, I've cut a worthless scoundrel. But they walked away. S Samurai, did you save me? I, I would have died without you. Please, let me thank you. You owe me no thanks. Farewell. At least tell me your name. Let me see you. My name ill bears the weight of, a, of accolades. Any just man would, would do as I have done. Yeah. Huh? Well, um, whatever you say. Thanks again. Uh, oh, how about I make you some tea? He's skilled, but I can't help but feel bad for him. It's what's on the inside. Oh, was, was she, was that, um, guy basically because, uh, she thought he was ugly. <sighs> that samurai from earlier. He looks uh. sad. Hey, I saw your face off against those bandits. Well fought. Face, you say? <laughs> Be one's face all that matters. Huh? B one's face. All that matters. I, uh... Why, though I deliver countless damsels safe from vagrant clutches, be they so repulsed upon sight of me? Why must I be air, air afflicted with such curdled visage? What are you even talking about? Calm down. This guy... This guy is a poet. Alright. Take a breath. <sighs> I beseech you forgive me. Tis shameful for a man to fret so. Yeah. 
Don't worry about it. You have a good heart, I can tell. You shouldn't worry so much about looks. It's what's inside that counts. Such a commonly, f such a comely face rends hun honey platitudes bereft of sweetness. <laughs> and still, I confess they yet provide some faint secure. My name is Aguri. I'm a roaming warrior. Might I ask yours, Saito? Pleased to meet you. You've gracious eyes, Sir Saito. They be testament to a man who judges not the soul or fickle whims of discourteous flesh. Would this world were home to more like you? Oh? Is that you, Aguri san? Hey. Okay. Suzu san? Mm -hmm. Are you with a friend? Yes. This man, my friend, be. I mean, he is my friend, quite so. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. It's a lovely time for a day for it. Aguri's panicking. He must really have feelings for this girl. Where are you off to, Suzu san? Ikasuke san asked me to meet him in Kamo River. He says he has something important to talk eh? to me about. Eh? Ikasugi? Ugh. Um, who's Ikasugi? <laughs> a samurai of true winsome countenance. He too targets fair Suzuzan with his charms. The roguish fiend. He too? You mean like you do? Mm -hmm. Eh? No, not at all. I... Ugh, fine. Yes, fine. As I do. I see. So this Ikasuga, Ikasugi is a romantic hey. rival. Um, what are you two whispering hey. about? Eh, nothing. We weren't even whispering. Tis the unyielding wind conducting its forlorn melody through forest wood. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, Ikari san. I have to go. I shouldn't keep Ikasuki san waiting. So long. Suzu san. She seems nice. Nice be a word fit for her hound than she. With her every breath does Suzu san eclipse earthly notion of beauty and kindness. For who else like her would not recoil at my canyonesque forebrow? And walnut shelled cheeks. And now she's on her way to meet Ikasuki, eh? this Ikasuki guy. Ah, damn it, I've no time. If he means to confess his love to her, no. No, 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 no. Hey, you're working yourself up into a frenzy again. I'm sorry, Sir Saito. I must carry the wind upon my back at once. And there he goes. Aguri. He's definitely strange, but he's not a bad person. If he, Suzu, and this Ikasuke are all head to Kamo River, sparks might fly. I should check it out for myself. Um, I don't know entirely where Kamo River is. Oh! I can just go over to Rakugai that says Kamo River. Hmm? Ikasugi-san. He's so late. That's the woman that that strange samurai Aguri is after. Her name is Suzu, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Vile Ikasugi, dare you make purest tart? Your pure anything? Your pure plaything? Suzu san, I weep to spy you waiting for this scoundrel. Couldn't help yourself, huh? Hey? Sir Saito. I see. Mm -hmm. Someone's coming. Suzu chan. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ikasugi san. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> Were you waiting here long? Sorry, but you know that it takes time to look this good, don't you? Oh, this guy's full of himself. <laughs> it's alright. You've got a weakness for pretty things, Ikasugi san. So that's him? Aye. He's handsome. Seems like the kind of guy who's popular with women. Ugh. So you agree Suzu-san must too be victim to his bewitching veneer. Calm down. Just see how things go. Anyway, I got something real important to talk to you about, okay? Yes? What is it? Suzu-chan, I want to marry you. Huh? 
Damn. He doesn't mince words. Hey, are you alright? Mary? Marry me? But we don't even know each other that well. Why me? Because of that face of yours. Oh boy. You're so beautiful, woman. I just want to look at your face like all the time. Oh. What's up? Why aren't you accepting my proposal? Don't I have a perfect face too? We're like soulmates, but face mates. Dude. It, it's not what's on the outside that matters. Farewell, odious world. Only through seppuku shall I purge myself of this misbegotten form. Stop it. I'm sorry. Eh? Eh? Sorry for what? I just... I care about who people are on the inside, not what they look like on the outside. I appreciate the thought, but no. Hey! To what strange illusion have I succumbed, believing as my eyes would have it that Suzu-san would reject Ikasuki? This is a good thing. In fact, it could be your chance to tell her how you feel. Eh? How uh. I... Yeah. You love her, don't you? You speak folly. Why do you say that? Look upon me, Sir Saito. My face has doomed me to a lifetime of scorn and ridicule. For whose curse be more woeful than the hideous man's? What are you talking about? Suzu treats you normally, doesn't she? Tis so. But the seemingly courtesies of friendship rarely blossom into the flowers of romance. <sighs> What I mean is, people can have ugly friends, but not ugly lovers. I can't risk ruining the relationship Suzu-san and I already have. She'd never feel comfortable around me again if I said the wrong thing. Ugh. Deep down, Aguri's just a man who's afraid other people will hurt him. Maybe there's something I can say to encourage him? You're a coward? Why not go with me instead? Have faith in Suzu. I want to say have faith that Suzu is the right choice. But give me a moment to double check, because I want to do these right. Yep, it's have faith in Suzu. Why don't you have any faith in Suzu? Eh? eh? Didn't you hear what she said before? She cares about what's on the inside. Don't you believe her? If you love her, you have to be willing to trust her after all. Show Suzu the real you. Let her make up her own mind before you decide for yourself what she thinks. You're not a bad guy. Have some confidence in yourself and in Suzu. Sir Saito. I have no claim to the honor of a samurai should I ignore your wise words. I shall go confess my love to her forthwith. Do you know where to find her? Suzu's on favors a particular spot at times of trouble and distress. The shrine near the barracks of the Shinsengumi. <laughs> you sure know her well. <laughs> Off I go, with faith invigorated in Suzu-san and myself. Farewell, Sir Saito. Good luck, Aguri. Hmm? Is Ikatsugi still over there? Never. Been so... Uh? Never been so peeled. Huh? Uh, uh. I offered her a dream life. Imagine getting to look at me, me every day. What's so great about people's insides? What's so great about people's insides? Just a bunch of chewed up food. Oh, I'll show her what's on the inside, all right. Uh-oh. Looks like we're gonna have to step in on this. He seems liable to do something dangerous. I wonder if I should check on Suzu and Aguri. Off to the... Off... To Mibu again. And time is of the essence before he starts doing something he's gonna regret. It seems he took it a bit too literally. Which he means it's a person it's who the person is, not what they look like. Whereas he took it literally like, oh I like the person's guts more. Which is not the case. Okay, so if it's at the shrine, that means it's going to be over here.
Uh oh. Over there. Damn it. A curry son. <laughs> Is this human shaped thumb knuckle thumb or what? All the fight went out of him the moment we threatened the girl. You always ticked me off, you know? You talk all proper, but you look all like the inside of a musk melon. Do with me what you will. Just unhand Suzu san. Uh? You really think I care about your pimply ass? I'm here to teach her never to look a gift horse in the mouth. What? I'm a gift, and she's a, she's a horse. You're all horses next to me. Look, everybody shut up so I can think. I say we make her watch while we kill him. Ikasugi san, you're horrible. Horribly beautiful, you mean. That was a good one. Okay, I'm tired of talking now. Let's do this. Urgh. Sir Saito. Uh? What the? Nobody attacks my minions. You want to die here too, eyebrows? You're living proof that a handsome face can't hide a monstrous soul. Uh. What was that? You see, my soul is unfuckable? Aguri, look after Suzu. I will. Thank you. Posse up. Let's bury our swords in this guy's mediocre abs. Goodbye. Again, I don't know why it's doing that one and not the other. Here we go. Gotta make sure to actually click on these to level them up. This is BS. I'm out of here. Uh? <sighs> Get out of my way, you walking vomit chunk. All my life I've envied those blessed by this auspicious gods of beauty <laughs> look where such charms led you what are you babbling about now <laughs> <laughs> fine there's not much left for you after the beating you took anyway even I can finish you off Ikasugi you shall find no quarter from me not after hurting the woman I love Aguri son die Aguri ah! no Wait. Once again, I've cut a worthless object. Looks isn't all that matters. You made taking Ikasugi down look easy, even with your injuries. But I guess love can do that to a man. Sir so Saito, I beseech you, mock me not. Agree, son. Uh, Suzu-san, I, uh, I hope you're not hurt. No, I'm fine. 
but about what you said. Um, I think it was something like, there will be quarter for hurting the woman I love. Mm, I think it's supposed to be no quarter. So I think that might have been a typo or something. Aguri-san, do you think you could say that again? To my face this time. Believe in yourself, Aguri. Suzu-san, I, I love you. I'd give anything to go out with you. If you'll have me, I'd be happy to. Eh? Eh? You will? Really? Even though I'm ugly and, and a dork. <laughs> You're not a dork, Aguri-san. I mean, a little. But that's not what's important. It's what's inside that matters, after all. Suzu-san. Good for you, Aguri. Uh, uh, I'm so happy. Oi. Hey, calm down. <laughs> Sir Saito. Your help has been in inestimable. Yeah. I didn't do anything. You just need a little confidence. Good luck to both of you. Modesty is an ill reward for for your valorous deeds. Perhaps this more befits your honor. Gion Hood. Farewell, Sir Saito. Is that a... Looks aren't everything when it comes to love sometimes. Sometimes it is the person's personality. I mean, look at me. I have a girlfriend, I'm ugly as sin. But I think that's all of the Chapter 5 sub-stories that we can do that aren't bonds. And I want, and I wonder if that was equipment, because it said hood. It did. It is equipment, and it is better than what I have. Gain money while you walk. Sure, I'll take that. It doesn't have a. Uh... I mean, let's be honest. I'm not exactly strapped for cash. But how much does it actually give? So I have 33 Rio, 4,131 Mon. So if I walk a little bit, say, to here. 4,185 Mon. Okay, that's fairly decent. But I think with that, next time on Like a Dragon Ishin, we will be doing a little bit of the bonds, I think. And if there is time, we will be continuing on with the main story. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.